G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What this video is going to be looking at is how to add numbers together really, really quickly, okay? Um, so without much further ado, let's go. So how fast can you add these two numbers together? We'll give you a couple of seconds. We'll give you the question of 624 plus 107. Ready, set, go. Okay, so the answer you should have got should have been 731. Now, if you got that as the answer, really, really good. If not, okay, we're going to be looking about how to do this today. So, what this is going to be looking at is sort of going against what you've probably been taught in uh, school. It, where usually what you do is you'd add numbers from the right here, and you'd add them this way, okay? So, I'll, I'll give you an example here. If I was to rub this out, what you'd probably get used to at school is you got taught we would write the numbers 624 down, and we would write the number 107 down, we'll put a little plus there to make it nice and neat, and 4 plus 7 is 11, so we put the 1 there, and we carry the 1, and then 1 plus 2 is 3, plus nothing is 3, and then 6 plus 1 is 7. But it seems always a bit funny because often you don't really, really want to write the numbers down all the time. So there's a bit of an easier way in my mind of doing these. And I'll show you how. So I'll get rid of that there and I'll go through how I do it a different way, how I do it going from right to left. Now, it, it, you need to practice this just a tiny bit, but it's not actually too hard to get. So first off, I'd go 6 plus 1 is 7. Now, before I write the 7 down, I'd quickly look at this column here. Now, if that, I'd quickly make sure that doesn't add to anything more than 10, and it doesn't. So if it doesn't, I'll just put the 7 down. Okay, now I'll go into this one. 2 plus nothing, well, that's 2. And so I quickly, before I write the 2 down, I look over at this column, and I see if these two numbers add to more than 10. And they do, they add to 11. So instead of actually putting down 2 here, I put 1 more than 2, which is a 3. And then here... 4 plus 7 is 11, and I'll just put the 1 here, because I've already actually added that 1 there. I've already carried the 1 before I've actually done it. So hopefully you get what I mean there. I'll, I'll give you another example on this. So we'll rub this out, and I'll write something new on it. Okay, what about some random 782 plus 125? What does that equal? Okay, so doing it the same way as I was just doing it. First off, we go to add these two numbers together. So 7 plus 1 is 8, and we look at this number. Is it above 10? Well, it is 10, so it's 10 or above. So I'm not only going to add 7 plus 1, but I'm going to add another 1 to it as well. So first number is going to be a 9. Okay, then I, I was left with that 0 before when the 8 plus 2 was, zero, uh, it was 10. So before I write the 0 down, I look at this number. Is it above 10? 2 plus 5. No, it's not. It's 7. So I can put my 0 down, and I can also put this 7 down. The answer, 907. Hey, pretty good, right? Okay. Let's give you something a little bit, uh, um, a little bit further from this. What about, say, something like uh, 586 plus uh, 792. We're going to make the Make the numbers a bit a bit bigger. Okay, so the answer to this would be five plus seven is twelve. So I'd go to write the twelve down. But before I write the, the two there, I look at these. Are they above ten? Yes. Yeah, so I write thirteen down. Okay, what are they? That adds up to seventeen. So uh, before I write the seven down here from the seventeen, I look at this next numbers. Do they go to above ten? No, they don't. The six plus two is eight. So I put the seven two seven down and I put the eight down. Pretty good, right? All right. So if you follow this method, and you, you should, you actually hit this stage where you probably, you won't even want to start even adding them. You know, on a bit of paper, you can start just adding them. You know, off the top of your head. Okay. Hope that works for you. See you next time.